So we finally got it confirmed. Um, this Dark Magician support is definitely coming into tens. Uh, there was another leaked image with uh, Winter Cherries and Magician's Navigation and Cosmic Cyclone, and I don't know where, like, I, I can't find it anymore, but, you know, I, I found this image, and uh, we see Dark Magical Circle in here, and we all know that Circle is, like, probably the best um, of the Dark Magician support other than, like, uh, Eternal Soul, and uh, Cosmic Cyclone, you know, again, we already knew that was going to come in, but Barrage and Shiranui Solitaire, now those are pretty big ones. Um, I did say before that the Mega Ten leaks didn't make uh, Zodiac safe, and you know them reprinting everything is kind of like an indicator of that. It's like they're just giving us all this Zodiac support for free, and it's like this this big meta deck. It's just oh here, everyone can play it now. It's gonna be just like 2015, boys. Okay, just <laughs> just be careful about that. And uh, totally awesome. I did kind of predict that as well. Um, there's no way they're gonna leave it out. I mean, it's not too relevant anymore. Paleozoics aren't really doing anything right now. Uh, neither are frogs. Everybody stopped using the frog engine. And, uh, you know, ever since True Draco took over, I mean, <laughs> Paleozoic just took a back burner. We kind of saw them in Nationals, but that, that was, like, a, a rare situation. So, um, yeah, it's just nice to see that expensive Dark Condition support being reprinted. Um, unfortunately, the... The, the, the new version of Dark Magician Girl, the Edmund mean, Illusion Girl or something like that, I forgot her exact name, um, she is still going to be overpriced as hell, but at least all the other Dark Magician support, um, you have a chance to get it in these tins, so that's always a good thing. And, uh, you know, Broad Bull as well. Um, you know, all, Dryden and Broad Bull are the two money cards in Zoo right now. Um, and, you know, like, if you're trying to get, like, the deck in general, like, not highest rarity, because Whiptail would also cost a lot, and getting all the staples would also cost a lot, but, it, like, nowadays, I think after these Megatons come out, it's, it's not going to be that expensive, and, um, it's going to be pretty fun for, like, a format and a half, where <laughs> everybody's going to be playing Zoo, uh, because they just gave, like, almost every casual... Uh, easier access to the Zodiac engine, so this is going to be the period that we're going to see Zodiac um, be, become even more innovative, because people are going to have the cards in real life, and I think that's a lot more important than just, like, um, having the cards on something like Dueling Network or Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, because there are some people who only really care about, like, what they can actually play with their hands, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, I feel it's a lot easier to play test when you have the actual cards. Some people can disagree, and uh, I wouldn't exactly blame you for having your own opinion about that, but I feel like for me, it's it's easier to, like, uh, constantly, like, play test, test out hands, see what I can do when I actually have the cards, and um, I think with... Zodiac being a lot more um, open to players, people are going to be more open to trying it in different decks and in different uh, combos as well. So we'll definitely um, see how that goes. I hope it goes well, but you know, you never know. Anyway, uh, I guess it's all for now. This was the show here. More leaks for you guys, hopefully coming soon. Um, I'll definitely be getting the Mega Tins when they come out, but. You know, that's like another two weeks from now, or two and a half, a week and a half, uh, whenever this video is uploaded, you know. I'm sure you guys know when it's coming out. Peace out.